And welcome back, everybody. On the other side of the globe, social media star Andrew Tate remains in Romanian prison on human trafficking and rape charges. But he's expected to find out this month if he's going to be released anytime soon. Now, Mr. Tate and his brother Tristan and two others were arrested in December after Romanian officials uncovered an alleged human trafficking ring. Romanian law enforcement officials have identified six victims subjected to, quote, acts of physical violence and mental coercion. The victims are also believed to have been sexually exploited by members of the group. All four suspects are expected in court this week for an appellate hearing after a judge extended their arrest warrants from 24 hours to 30 days. Each country has their own set of rules and it can get kind of confusing. So we spoke with a Romanian lawyer to see how this entire process could play out. Now, I would say that the next logical thing that we should look forward to in this case is the appeal that is going to be ruled over. And if it's going to be declined, as is my prediction, right, as I predict, then on January 29th, the 30 days period will, will be expiring and the prosecutor has to come again in front of the judge and he's going to propose one of these, the following three measures. It, it's either going to propose to extend the arrest for another 30 days or keep them, second one, it's to keep them under arrest at home arrest for 30 days or the third one is to give them is to set them free, but they would have to come to the police every week to sign some papers that they are still in Romania and they are not going to be allowed to leave the, the country. Now, again, my prediction is that they are going to be set free. If they are going to move to the trial, they are going to be convicted, at least in my opinion. And in terms of the prison time, if they are found guilty for all the three infractions, uh, they can face up to 10 to 20 years in, in prison. The judge will rule over the decision. So there's no jury involved. It's a simple system, okay? So the lawyer defends the suspects, the prosecutor um, attacks, if you want, the suspects or uh, charges them, right? And then the, the judge rules over the matter. All right, a bit different than our system here. Brian, I understand you've been looking into this, and I know that investigators, they've been doing a lot of evidence collection behind the scenes. Can you give us some insight into what that's all about? Jesse, it's a lot of evidence, but let's dig a little deeper into what I think is going to be the strongest evidence, and that's going to come from the women accused of being trafficked. Their accounts of being indoctrinated and trafficked by Tate is going to be the most damning, and it sounds like the way he uh, recruited them is going to be part of his downfall. The phrase lover boy, and no ladies, I'm not talking about Jesse, but lover boy method is a common phrase in Eastern Europe to describe how abusers coerce women into prostitution. Typically, a lover boy seduces a young, vulnerable girl or even boy into a romantic relationship with kind gestures, promises, and gifts. They are too good to be true, with promises of money, marriage, and a better life. Once hooked, the blackmail and the threats begin. Many victims end up having Stockholm Syndrome and defend their abusers, believing they're truly in love. But the relationship turns to manipulation and the victims form into different forms of prostitution. If the women testify to this indoctrination, this could be the end for Tate and might mean prison time. Comparing me to a lover boy, I don't know if I should be <laughs> flattered or insulted, but Terry, we know that Andrew Tate, huge following on social media. You think that some of his posts could actually have led authorities to investigate him in the first place? No, there's no doubt about it. He is really a huge social media person, and he has about 5.7 million people who are following him, and he has over 100 accounts. So he posts a lot, and a lot of his posts are demeaning to women. So, for instance, he doesn't think women should be able to drive. He has said that women are like children and dogs. They have to be trained and they need to obey. And, you know, these types of comments will lead authorities. He said women should be making money for him. This is how he thinks of women. So I definitely think that the way he speaks, the fact that he has all these people who idolize him, that led authorities to exactly track him down. Well, I can tell you that if it doesn't hurt him, it's definitely not not going to help him the things that he was saying on social media.